Hey everybody, this is AKMan1984. I'm back uh, from two weeks off. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I've been uh, quite busy and uh, I kind of started playing uh, Diablo like everyone else. So I was busy doing that and also my uh, helping some friends out with uh, another channel. So, um, yeah, I'm back with uh, part 6 of my tutorial series and uh, in this tutorial I will show you how to do flashing lights. And uh, this is, uh, um, I just want to say that this is one way of doing flashing lights. And also, I don't know if anyone is going to like it uh, the way I did it this way, but um, I mean, it works obviously. And, um, uh, I mean, it's not the best way to do it, and there's there is other ways to, of doing it, but I mean, I've done it this way, and I will show you the code, but first let me show you how it works. So, let's go into this computer, and it says, do you want to turn on receiving computer? So, you say yes, and then it says, please, sele please type color to select, t to turn off color, type color, then off. So uh, that means basically you have to type in the color you want and then press enter and then it will turn on. If you want to turn it off, you just do space off. So and then it'll, that will turn it off. Alright, so um, this basically, and also this computer is just waiting for a signal and uh, nothing's being done right now. So let's write white again. And it's gonna, it told, told me there, I don't know if you saw it for a split second there, it said white is on. And you see here, <coughs> white is on, and if you look there, white is flashing. Hooray, it's flashing. And then here it says white is on, and this will continuously flash forever and ever. Now, the problem is why you guys won't like this is that um, the way I do it and the way I've done it in the computers over there is pretty much the same way I've done it here. Um, the th problem is that you can't have multiple flashing lights. Um, it, it, there is a way to do multiple flashing lights, but it will c it will you're gonna need to have multiple computers. And I've not figured out yet how to do it on one computer, but uh, this the, the way I did it here. I mean, you can you can do it the way I did it to have uh, different lights going on and off, but you can have them all at once if you want to be selecting the color like I have here. So what I mean is if I do uh, let's say orange it's gonna say orange is on here there's gonna be two colors on yes and you, if you want me to do a tutorial on how to turn on two colors and two, two colors over there uh, I will show you but here look you see it's not uh, flashing two colors I mean there is no way um, I have not figured out yet how to do two flashing colors at the same time on one computer. I mean, I, I, I think it's impossible. I'm pretty sure it's possible. I mean, anything would be possible in this, but I mean, I have not figured it out yet. So, uh, so let's turn these off. And then also white off. White off. Okay, so now everything's off. And if we do orange, oh, orange, and uh, orange will start start flashing. See, <coughs> so I mean it does work in theory. Uh, it's one light at a time. <coughs> so um, you can have you are all you always have to do. You have to turn the uh, light on and then the uh, the light off. So um, so you do. So that's how I did it um, for this tutorial. And uh, also, if you guys want me to do like a multiple choice thing instead of uh, writing the colors each and every time. So say let's say one is white, two is orange, three is pink. And then you just type the, the the number you want, and then it would just turn on that color, or you would or you uh, ha it would say um, uh, one is white, and then you go you press one, and then it will tell you 
uh, do you want to turn on the the white uh, the light and then you say yes or you press Y and then it would turn it on so if you guys want me to do that in the next tutorial just leave me a comment below and I will I will do uh, another tutorial on how how to do that so I'm just going to show you guys one more color so I'm going to turn that off and then um, it was gray I think yeah gray I haven't set up all the colors yet um, but I mean if you guys want me to set up all the colors I, I will but it will be a longer process but uh, you see here um, the uh, gray is flashing and over there the gray is on so uh, yeah that's how this I have set it up this way and uh, I mean there's there are other ways to set it up but uh, this is one way like I said um, and it does work um, so I will show you the code on how to do how to do uh, all this so let's go into notepad plus plus alright guys so uh, I'm in uh, the uh, notepad plus plus and I'm in the startup uh, file of the uh, first computer where uh, you start the other computer so um, this has not changed that much. Um, I think I changed the. Uh, I basically st I'm now the, I'm starting the computer with a uh, wireless transmission transmitter. So uh, the uh, I put the number and I put on so that it starts uh, every time I press uh, uh, say yes it's, it will start the computer and then it will go to the A program. So um, so after it does does all this it will go to the uh, A program. And this is the A program. And the uh, A program is a little, little complicated. Um, so, uh, I mean, I've shown you guys how to do this in the past. And uh, so what you do is uh, you have to put all your, uh, all the lights. If you want to add more lights, you basically have to do this for each light. So the white light uh, uh, will turn on when you type white so if answer is white then uh, turn on white and then uh, also you're gonna have to output the uh, left side uh, of the computer to white so every time uh, you type white it will uh, turn on the, the the corresponding light to the right side of the computer and then it will send the signal to the left side of the computer and if you notice there was a bundled cable uh, between the computers uh, so that all the colors can go through it so every time you type right it will send a signal on the right side and then on the left side and then off uh, will be the same thing except for uh, instead of a plus it will be minus and pretty much does the same thing so um, you do this for each color see now I've done it for orange and same thing for orange and then gray same thing for gray pink same thing for pink and uh, there's you don't have to put this in the same order guys you can put them in any order you want it doesn't really matter uh, you, you don't have to put gray off if you don't want to or you don't have to put gray or whatever you don't you, you can change these and uh, you can change uh, these also uh, but everything else has to be the same um, has to be written the same um, also at the end here I put uh, if you put if you put any other commands or any other like uh, if you type it wrong uh, it will just say not a valid command so um, that's how you do that here. Um, don't worry about this. Uh, this is just uh, so I can copy and paste uh, things onto my uh, notepads. And uh, I've not mentioned uh, how to do this. <coughs> so if you do um, minus minus in front of any uh, any uh, any coding that you have, the uh, computer will ignore that coding and it will not give you any errors. So if I didn't put these minus minus here, <coughs> excuse me. If I didn't put these minus minus uh, in front of these uh, uh, commands here, it would give me an error, uh, 56 
because here it's uh, on the 56th uh, line. Uh, it will get me an error, and, it, and then you uh, you would not be able to continue your program. So if you put minus minus in front of any command, it will the computer will ignore it. All right, so that's how you do a. Um, don't have, don't forget to put at the end uh, the sleep, uh, a uh, shell that run a because um, what that does is basic is is that when these codes are done, uh, so let's, so let's say you put white, it will not it will not go um, it will just go uh, all the way down and then it will just uh, not do anything. It will just say uh, it will just give you that little um, uh, signal that it's waiting for something for like another program to run. So you guys have to put uh, this command at every at end at the end of every of your of your programs, uh, so that it loops on itself. So every time you finish a command, um, th it will come to this and it will just loop back to the to the top, and then it will wait for you to enter in any of these commands. All right. So uh, now I'm gonna go. I'm going into the startup computer of the the uh, receiving computer and I've changed this a little bit so basically it says um, it says the same thing and then it says uh, um, you know actually you don't have to do it like this but I mean you you can but I think I showed you another way of doing this but this is also good so um, the computer will start and then it will show the ID and then it will repeat until it receives the message of on and then when it receives the message it will run the E uh, um, program now um, why I've done this is because um, it's it's good to do it like this because if you fall back on the startup uh, com uh, um, program <coughs> If you come back to this startup program uh, 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 every time for for the for the, your commands, it will you you're gonna have to uh, tell the computer to to start up the computer. Like uh, every time you're gonna have to say on, and then it will have to go to the to the following programs if you have any programs written here. So they, so what so what uh, I've done here is that every time. Uh, you run a command uh, from A. Um, it will it will trigger the E command. And now I'm going to show you why I've done it this way. Because if you go into the E command, if you go into the E program, um, the first thing is that it will say waiting for signal, and then it will do a pull event redstone, and then it would say if RS uh, test bundle left now it's going to wait for uh, the left side to be white and then when, when it's true it's going to run the A command uh, the A computer and then so on for the orange it will be the B and then gray will be C and then pink will be D now um, uh, why I've done it like this and not in the startup computer is because it needs to fall back on a program that could start back on itself without having any issues. This is why at the end here, I, I again, I put uh, shell.run e. <clears throat> if I did it here, uh, shell.run startup, and then if this computer would, would well, I mean, sorry, this program would start up over and over again, it would just come back here, and it would stay, it would wait for the command of on to continue. So this is why I've done it in multiple programs. And uh, this is how um, the flashing is done. So once it uh, receives the signal of the white uh, color, and it then runs the A uh, program. So this is the A program. And then the A program is basically, uh, it will just turn on the white color, wait two seconds. Uh, also, it will print white as on. Wait two seconds, and then it will turn off the uh, white color. And then it's gonna look. It's gonna also gonna test if the white is on here. See, so um, 
when it comes and checks if the white is on, it's gonna turn. It's gonna run the shell A again. So it's gonna repeat this again, and then it's gonna come back and it's gonna repeat it again because white is on. This is why uh, every time I had to do uh, white, I had to turn on the white and then turn off the white. Because if I didn't turn off the white, it would just come back and repeat itself and repeat itself and repeat itself until white is off, and then it will go back to E. So. Um, that's pretty much how you uh, you do it. Uh, so if you guys want to change something on this, you can change the sleeping uh, time weight. So if you change these, uh, the the light will uh, flash faster. You can change this white is on to something else if you want, or and you can change this also. Um, so yeah, that's how you do it, guys. And uh, D is the same thing as A except for the the colors have changed okay C is the same thing except for the colors have changed okay um, and D is also the same uh, except for the colors have changed also so um, that's how you do it guys um, it's it's uh, this is like I said this is one way of doing it and uh, there are other ways to do it. I can show you guys another way of doing it. Uh, there is no... I've, I have not figured out a way to do it wirelessly. Um, it, there might be a way, but I need to figure it out. Uh, and I'm sure there is a way to do it. Um, but I've not figured it out yet. And it's a little bit more complicated uh, to do it the wireless way. For this... Uh, for this um, uh, flashing light system, it's better to do it with um, with a bundled cable or one cable, whatever you want. And uh, this is ha pretty much how I've done it in my other computers. Um, my other computers um, have multiple computers controlling the lights. That's how I get multiple flashing lights. Um, so I've not yet figured out how to do multiple flashing lights on one computer, but there is a way. But if you want to do a uh, a uh, on and off uh, system with multiple lights on uh, one computer, I can show you guys that too. So let's. So one computer will will say uh, will tell will tell the user what color you want, and then you type or you do whatever you want, and then it will turn on, and then. You can do it wirelessly or wiredly. I can show you guys how to do that too. And then the other computer will just turn on the corresponding light, and then and then uh, the next one will do um, will be uh, uh, the next light uh, that will that will stay on also. So uh, I can show you guys that if you guys want me to do that. Um, so just comment below, guys, on uh, what you want me to, to to do a tutorial on next. But uh, I will uh, show you. I will put up another tutorial soon for uh, another uh, way of doing flashing lights. But uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, guys. Um, it's uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, but like I said, there's not there's other ways of doing this, and my way is not the best way, and it's not the correct way. But I mean, I've show, I've proven that it does work, and um, it's kind of simple um, in a way. I don't know. For me, it's simpler than the the, the real way of doing it. Um, uh, but I mean, you guys can do whatever you want. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna end it here, guys. Thank you for uh, for all your support and uh, continuing on. Uh, liking my videos and uh, subscribing to my channel and favoriting and whatever you have to do guys please so that you can support me and uh, I can go on and show you guys more uh, for the other tutorial oh, I'm sorry the other series I have for the computer craft um, I'm still working on it and I'm gonna try to release a video a little video on on, on a little update I have uh, that I've done recently so stay tuned for that Thanks, guys. Have a, see you next time.